There appears to be an increase of a rare vaccine side effect that causes inflammation of the heart, and this has Ontario urging a group of young adults to take the Pfizer vaccine over Moderna. There is a risk. It's increased between one product and another. The condition is called myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart. According to the Ministry of Health, between June and August, 96,000 doses of mRNA vaccines have been administered to males between the ages of 18 and 24. Data collected during that time period shows that the risk of developing the heart condition after a second dose of Moderna was 1 in 5,000, while the risk of Pfizer was 1 in 28,000, about five times lower. I know that this news may make some people nervous and heighten concerns about receiving a COVID vaccine, and I can understand that. But the benefits of vaccination continue to significantly outweigh the risks. The move is being made out of an abundance of caution, with Ontario's top doctor saying it's still a very rare occurrence. The majority of reported cases have been mild, with individuals recovering, recovering quickly normally with anti-inflammatory medication such as ibuprofen. Of the very small number of people that have had to be admitted to the intensive care unit, most of the time that's for investigation, so taking a blood test, a cardiogram or an ultrasound, uh, and then they've been rapidly discharged homes. And I just want to be clear, we've had no fatalities whatsoever. Health officials are hoping this does not contribute to vaccine hesitancy, saying if you are unvaccinated and contract the virus, you're 24 more times likely to be hospitalized and 18 times more likely to develop this very same heart condition, and chances are it will be much more severe. We must be accountable, transparent, uh, and I hope the public see uh, that as our main means of building trust in the vaccine delivery system. Right now, Ontario has 2.7 million doses of Pfizer available. That's more than enough for those who need it. Shauna Hunt, City News.